What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Brother Man Games here, and welcome to my very first Let's Play. Now, I was thinking about what game I wanted to do for the very first series on this channel, and I figured, uh, do Bioshock, because it's, uh, one of my favorite games of all time. And not only that, this is the remastered version, so, uh, I guess it's going to have just, I guess, some better graphics than, uh, than the original one. Um, haven't even, uh, really, like, seen too much in, uh, the remastered of what's different, so, uh, Anyways, let's let's find out if if there is. Anyways, let's dive in. I'm just gonna leave the settings as uh, as is. Like, I uh, can't really change the brightness at all, so I just hope it's not too much of an issue for you guys watching. And uh, gonna play it on hard. Uh, I'd rather not play it on Survivor because I just kind of just want this to be a fun series and not pull my hair out. So, all right, let's dive right in. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. All right, let's get started. <laughs> God, that's a super intense way to start a game. Always thought that like a plane crash just right in the middle of the ocean is like super intense. I remember the first time playing this game and seeing that tower and just being like, oh my god, what the hell's over there? A little bit of a fun fact, uh, this game is actually the spiritual successor to a game series called System Shock, which, uh, instead of taking place sort of at the bottom of the ocean, uh, takes place in space, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, definitely a game that I want to play in the future. I got System Shock 2, but not the first one. I know, I know that they have, uh, an unreal, uh, I think Unreal Engine remake of the first one. Uh, definitely want to get my hands on that sometime soon. Um, just hang on a sec. I kind of want to check. Uh, well, dialogue subs are on. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I I wanted to see it just because they weren't really working for the intro cinematic. Just so in case someone has, you know, uh, is visually impaired and needed subtitles for that, but not really important for that cutscene. No gods or kings, only man. In what country is there a place for people like me? Andrew Ryan. Aw, oh, man. Takes me back every time and it never gets old. Such a chilling use of this song, too, to like start you out. I love it. 
And of course, we have the three pillars of rapture. Science. Industry. And art. Well, got nowhere to go but down. So, might as well just get in the bathosphere. Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture, can become your city as well. God. I uh I remember playing this game for like the first time when I was like a kid and I didn't know what was in store for me and you know having that is like the first thing you see when you come in here. Hang Jesus, hang on Atlas, just one second. Uh yeah, like just I didn't know what was in store for me. Like it, but seeing that uh seeing that thing at the first thing you see you come out of that bathosphere, I was so scared. Oh my god. Step out of the 
up out the sphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Oh god, hearing that, uh, hearing that singing is just so freaky. You know, never really paid attention to it uh, first time around, but I love just seeing all the signs, uh, like the protest signs and all the luggage. That, so you know something terribly, terribly wrong has happened here and people were trying to get out, but probably to no avail. Please don't. Ah! Yeah. The spider splicers honestly give me the heebie jeebies. Probably not a lot. Oh, thank you, Atlas. <laughs> Half life reference. Oh, hello, old friend. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm not a bad person! I'm onto your tricks! Go, come here! Hit you in the face! Ow! Fuck! Ow! <laughs> Eve Hypo and a first aid kit. Hell yeah. Um, we're fine. Not gonna do what the tutorial says. Oh, potato chips. Oh, <laughs> not gonna hit that. Um, Rapture, November 5th, 1946. One man's vision, mankind's salvation. Yeah, totally, totally saved. I just want to apologize if the, uh, if the voiceover that I'm doing is going to be a little bit awkward at first, or if there's a lot of ums or uhs, kind of a nervous thing that I do. Because this is the first time I'm ever really doing something like this. So hopefully just over time I'll get better. And you guys uh, are liking what I'm doing so far. Before we grab that thing, just going to kind of do a little bit of dumpster dive in here. Nothing. Bah! <laughs> up here. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> what is this? All right. Oh, God. Love it.
You all right, boy? First time plasma's a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Oh, hell yeah. Zap, motherfucker. Ah. I must say, the graphics look very nice. Oh shit! Run! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, I never noticed that before! Oh, the poor kitty! Ah, oh, that's terrible! Jesus! Maybe she could put him in the Vita Chamber and get him revived so you have a furry friend that comes and hangs out. Oh well. Yeah. Splicer! Give him the combo. Zap him, then whack him. One two punch. Remember, the one two punch. I just wanted some company. Yeah, you know, I never really thought about it before, but. <coughs> oh, one sec. Don't fucking judge me! Yeah, I never really thought about it before, but the amount of hypodermic needles that you keep injecting into yourself throughout the entirety of your game. That, uh. Okay, probably should get out of here, but, um. Yeah, yeah, your arm probably is gonna look like a, like a heroin addict's arm by the end of this thing, probably. Oh god. I found her that way. Come on, come on. Oh god. I remember uh, no. hearing this just. No. It's never not chilling. Uh, about to put you out of your la misery, lady. Uh. Plasmas changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. <sighs> you 
you know, the setting of like what's going on right now and just seeing, you know, Happy New Year 1959, just so shocking just seeing how everything just went to hell down here in a very short amount of time. Uh, for those who haven't played this game yet, uh, buckle up, in for a ride, to just see just what happened. Um, could just go down there first, but I think I'm gonna take the stairs. And don't need the boost, but I will take the first aid kit, definitely. me use a first aid kit. How dare you! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I might try to use a gun, but I want to conserve as much ammo as I possibly can. Is that the ink spots? Sounds like them. Oh, six dollars! No way! Aw, oh, seven dollars. Nice. Eight dollars. Aw, oh, hood rich now. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Haha! <laughs> My favorite part of this game is finding these tape recorders and just uh, hearing all the people's stories that you find. Just, they're all really cool. I'm gonna hopefully pick up all of them, but if I miss some, I am very sorry because they're all, all super cool. Yeah, we got a max amount of first aid kits. Oh well, if we do need to use them. What? Ah. I see you. Come on, come here. It would be kind of cool if you could grab like a newspaper and stuff like that and just read uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, I also found this like really funny. Um, just uh... The amount of like free enterprise and just capitalism just went crazy down here, and they decided, you know, let's let's charge people to use the bathroom and take a dump. <laughs> I always I always find that kind of kind of ridiculous. I think in Europe they got stuff like that, though I'm not too sure. But uh, 
Jeez, come on, let people crap for free. You know, it's a normal bodily function that everyone has to do. Hey, Brenda, you care to tell me why you had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Now, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all I can think about is the snake coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. Ha, well, wonder if that's what he meant. Uh, who knows? Uh Oh, there comes Big Daddy. I'm actually about to do that, yeah. Um Did a little trial run uh before recording, and yeah, you can Find these like uh, little director's commentaries and stuff like that on the game. I'm not gonna play it because I think that'll just be a waste of time for here. But um, I'll see about just finding them in case if you ever are playing this game and you want to see it. But uh, yeah, it's it's just like behind the scenes stuff. Like if you're watching like bonus features on a movie or something. Oh, that's where we came from. Anything over here? No. Uh, in this game, I really like to explore every nook and cranny that I can. Uh, you know, just so you can f uh, find everything like plasmids, tape recorders, whatnot. Ah! Ah! I love doing that. Just makes things a whole lot easier. Oh my god, we got like 53 bucks. We're rich. We're rich.
We're getting on to mumble rap rich now. Jeez. I think character's name is Jack. Start calling ourselves Young Jack very soon. Whiskey in there. Security alert in progress. There's a uh, flamethrower over there. Pro tip: don't go near that. Uh, once that alert happens. Nice shotgun shell. I'm going, I'm going. I was just looting bodies. Jeez. All right. Let's get out of here. Come now, Atlas. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna end it here, and I'll see you guys at medical.